so in the today's tutorial we are going to cover breadth first search that is bfs so i told you uh, the dfs uh, is using stack and recursion stack and recursion uh, and bfs is using q uh, this is using q and iteration and this bfs is known as level order traversal in trees L level order traversal and this is known as uh, uh, all the traversal that is pre order pre order post order and in order so this is D, uh, DFS is using stack and recursion is known as pre-orders, post-order, in order entries and uh, BFS using, is using Q and iteration. It is level order traversal. So that is in trees. Okay. So uh, so basically trees are trees are also graphs that are acyclic, acyclic and undirected undirected so that is the difference key difference okay so let's start with our tutorial today uh, this is a, our graph and we have a uh, so in a uh, breadth for search what we do we maintain a queue so we maintain a queue and uh, so queue is a data structure which works on first in like if we uh, uh like if we enqueue from this side then we dequeue from this side so enqueue dequeue are the two function and it, and it is on first and first out which comes first goes first out which comes first goes first out which comes first goes first out so th this is how uh, uh first search works now we are going to use a queue data structure so for that what we can do we can uh, use inbuilt queue uh, data structure uh, from from python which is inbuilt so that would be easy for us to implement so uh, the data structure where you're going to use is a uh, double ended queue so uh, double ended queue uh, gives us both the functionality that is to insert and delete from both the end that is from the front end and, and from the rear end also okay so uh, but uh, we are going to use it as a queue okay so queue has a functionality we in queue from the rear side and DQ from the front side. Okay, so uh, let's start with the tutorial. Okay, the coding part. Now uh, this is our input. Okay, uh, sorry. Uh, from so today we are going to do from collections import DQ and from collections import default dict okay uh, i'll give you an overview how the queue works uh, it, like in the depth for search last tour we were also maintained a, a dictionary of visited we will also maintain this in the queue also uh, uh, sorry in the uh, bfs also we will also maintain a visited visited what we what we have visited or not okay so that is visited we will maintain this and what we are going to do first we'll append a node here then we are going uh, going to uh, 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 we are going to uh, uh, like uh, append that node in our path also then we are going to dequeue that node and then append, append the child uh, like in the trees what we call them as child which are connected so then we are going to uh, append the connected uh, connected nodes of that particular node which are we are going to dequeue suppose if we enqueue a here uh, like if we have a then when we dequeue a we will uh, 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 Thank you. Uh, thank you. The child of a, a or connected components of A that is B and C. Okay. Uh, here I am referring to the child as the connected components because in trees we have connected comp. Uh, we call them as children because we have a parent node. Then we have the childrens of a parent node. So here by, by child node I refer that those are the connected nodes. Okay. Let's start with the coding part. Then uh, we have v comma e is equal to map int comma input dot split for i in range e then we have u comma 
v is equal to map str str input dot split graph of u dot append v then graph of v dot append u we are also going to compare this code with the dev first search then uh, the same way what we defined in the previous one like start is equal to a uh, start node is going to be a path is going to be empty visited is equal to default dict of boolean values and then uh, we will have a graph here graph is equal to default dictionary of list okay perfect then we are going to give a print traversed path okay, sorry the traversed path and we are going to get the traversed path traversed path is equal to bfs of graph uh, why i'm repeating because you will get the overview of how 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 the uh, templates are work, uh, created in using graph so this would increase the speed and accuracy the graph is their start function we have visited we have then a path okay now we are going to implement breadth first search define bfs we have graph start start visited and path now we are going to create a queue is equal to dq uh, this is a double ended queue which uh, gives us both the functionality to to nq and dq from both the ends but we are going to use it as a normal queue uh, so then path dot append start then visit it of start is equal to true so this works perfect and now with the main code changes we are going to return path in the end so now the main code changes while len q is not is equal to is not equal to zero till the time q is not zero we temp node we have a temporary node that is uh, here we have missed one thing we need to initialize the queue with the start queue dot append start also okay so we would now hop from so uh, uh, double ended queue has uh, to we'll get the temp node is equal to queue dot pop left so append function uh, is from here quick, append function is from here and pop left is from here okay so temp node node is equal to q dot pop left so for neighbor for neighbor in graph of temp node if if visited of neighbor is equal to false if it is false then we would call bfs iteratively path dot append neighbor q dot append neighbor and then visited of neighbor because we 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 need to do this all this thing iteratively visited of neighbor is equal to true okay so so let's run our program
yes so this works perfectly fine we have got our output uh, I'll quickly open uh, so here you can see we've got our output and uh, yeah there is yeah here it is our output so here you can see all the nodes are being covered here a b c f then e then d and g okay so just for a case you here you can see c is here and from c we move, move to f and we e so here you can see then d so here you can observe one thing that f e d are all the connected components so it uh, it must put f here then e then d so this is our bread first search works we did all the things iteratively so this was a, a, a bit of uh, uh, we did all the things iteratively but in a recursive part if the uh, that was dead first search so we did them right recursively so this is the, how it works bread first search using queue data structure the time complexity would be time complexity is equal to, is equal to o big o of v plus e and the space complexity is equal to uh, big o, big o of v because we maintain a dictionary of boolean values whether it is visited or not so this was in the breadth search tutorial thank you guys thank you so much